Hello, Bill Molino here, Fast Play War Games and the Nottingham Wargaming Group with Warfare and the Age of Napoleon with my wrist figures. We're using the rules by Todd Kreshner again. Did the uh, Bordino game last month, this month. I'm hoping this evening my wife Lisa will consider playing a few turns. And it's a Waterloo scenario from the scenario book by Todd. Now, my scenario isn't perfect to Todd's outline, but I'm pretty darn close. Let's take a look at the battlefield. Wow. This is La Haye Saint. Uh, this was printed off uh, the internet. It was 6 millimeter scale. I increased it to a 10, 15 millimeter scale. And we have Richard Sharp inside with some of his chosen men. Uh, Todd's scenario book said one base, but I put two in there. I like them to hold out a little bit. Coming along our British lines. And, uh... So... Our British troops are lined up. And these are the 13 to 15 millimeter wrist figures. Uh, my friend Jim, who passed away a while back here, uh, and he ordered sacks and sacks of these. So this is the British right flank and our center. And in the other video I had mentioned that I was making the labels. So I know this is my British line regiment, the 20th regiment. And on a note paper I can put down their grade value. Uh, melee factor and and so forth now Todd's rules call for the the cavalry regiments to be large for I originally was only going to use eight figures but um, they really do look good for each regiment so when you have the whole brigade it looks quite impressive now there should be one more regiment here but this scenario only calls for three. So, on the other side of the battlefield of Waterloo, we have the French. And I'm going to pause our video and we'll go take a look at them. All right, we're on the French lines. Now, Todd's rules do uh, call for you know leadership to move forward. And I have different generals, but just for my labels, I just did General 1, 2, 3, and so forth. I have these in French attack columns. They move quite quickly in the rule set. Um, I think these will move 12 inches a, a turn. And then I have medium uh, artillery batteries. Now this is where I uh, veered from Todd's scenario and also history. So... The attack in La Haye Seine in the ridge. Young guard, middle guard, and the glorious old guard. Um, these sets of figures are given to me by Frank Prez. These are not risk figures. These are actually uh, old lead Heathcliff figures. So they're going to go in also. I don't have any more French in infantry built, so we're going to be using them. Over here on the right flank, we have a lance, three medium, two medium, and then a heavy guard cavalry regiment. So I got four brigades. We have the leader. And then uh, how the battlefield looks from the other side. Now I did not place any trees or lichen around. This is a pretty well stripped down uh, battlefield in that sense. Uh, I'm just hoping for a fun two or th maybe two, two and a half hour battle with my wife. If I can get her to play that long down here in the basement. In the old Gettysburg area gamer days, Thursday night was war game night. Now, uh, Friday evening, um, the 18th of March, I'll be at the Hawks war game night in Aberdeen, Maryland. 
and I'm not sure what we're all playing there. So I'm going to try to do a pan out. And for all things considered, I am really happy with these unpainted plastic figures. Um, you know, everyone has different choices and lifestyles and decisions on all kinds of things. And I have a lot of irons in the fire, including board games for historic sites with my Fast Play War Game Company. And for me, I'm quite happy with how these Waterloo Napoleonic figures came out. And uh, I think that's it for now. So I'm going to say stay safe, be kind, be courteous. And in all honesty, this is pretty quick to put together. Um, La Haye Saint is free on the internet. Uh, six millimeter paper La Haye Saint. And that's it. Thank you. And wait for the next video.